Hi guys, welcome to Easy Peasy Gardening. I'm your gardener friend Ruchi, and today we are going to uh, plant these um, beet roots. So I have uh, uh, these seeds that we are going to plant. Beetroot is a cold weather plant. So uh, in a year, basically, you have two seasons to grow it. Uh, one is uh, if you grow them early in the spring, then before the summer starts, you can have a good crop. And the other uh, time is that late in the summer, you can grow these seeds and then by fall or by early winter, you'll have another crop. Like any other vegetable, beetroots require a soil which is rich in nutrients. So in this container, I have mostly compost. It has good drainage at the bottom. And because uh, this is a root vegetable, the soil should be loose so that the roots can grow easily without any problem. So I'm going to just scatter the seeds uh, in the soil and then cover it up with about uh, uh, one inch of soil and then water it. So for uh, germination, seeds require two things. One is uh, moisture and the second is uh, warmth. So I'm watering it and so that way it will get a lot of moisture and this container gets about 3-4 hours of sun every day so it will get a lot of warmth and at the night I'll cover it with this uh, uh, lid so that it will stay warm and it, as it starts to grow I'll keep you posted. It's been only 5 days that we planted the beetroot seeds and some of the seeds have started to germinate. It's been one week and our beetroots are doing very good. It's been about three weeks and our beet plants are growing very nicely. Just make sure that uh, the plants get a lot of water because they have a lot of leaves so they require a lot of water and a lot of sun. It's been a few weeks and our beetroots are growing very nicely and they become really big. So I just want to thin them out so that you know the beets grow uh, without any problem because if they are too close to each other then none of the roots will be able to grow so i want to just thin them out so let's see so they have been thinned down quite a bit so after i thinned these down you know they are growing really well now they are all standing up tall and uh, they have doubled in size in last two weeks so an important thing to remember that the plants should not be too crowded otherwise they don't grow that well so one thing you have to remember that if they don't get enough sun then the foliage will be really nice but the beet roots will be really small Our plants have been growing really well and i think they have been ready for some time now but i just did not have time to dig them up so i'm going to do that today Okay, probably this one. Oh, yeah. This is good size. So when uh, the roots are uh, one and a half inches to two inches uh, wide, you can pick them up. Uh, and you can actually leave them in the soil for some time. They don't go bad uh, that quickly. Also, if you want, you can add some phosphorus rich uh, fertilizer to the soil and that helps in making uh, the roots bigger. So uh, one thing you have to be careful about that whenever you are growing uh, a root vegetable, uh, sow the seeds one by one, maybe about an inch deep. So then what happens is that when the saplings grow, they have that space all for themselves you know they are not competing with each other like if you the two of the saplings are growing very close to each other then they compete and then they go sideways and then, then the roots and if you try to thin them out you will loosen up the roots of the other one which creates a problem and they don't grow that well 
so that is something i learned that you know i scattered the leaves just like that that was not a good thing you should sow them one by one and that's how they will grow strong and big and they require a lot of sunlight so i noticed that the side which gets more sun they had bigger roots than the side which did not have sun so i hope this video was useful to you if you have any questions leave a comment and i'll try to answer as soon as possible if you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you next time happy gardening bye